In this tutorial, I'm going to show you about how to use styles in Microsoft Word using the 360, Office 365 app version. I'm on a Mac, just, just in case your version looks different. So the first thing is make sure you open your document in the app version, not on the web version, because there are different features available. A lot of features are not available in the web version that are available here. Okay, so the first thing is um, why do you want to use styles? Styles allow you to consistently format text and change text that has the same format. So styles also allow you to use features in MS Word like automatic generation of table of contents and viewing your document in outline mode. When using styles, you can change the style and the format will automatically update anything that is tagged to that style. So really what we use styles as a way to define the type of information that is stored in given text. And then you can change that formatting. So the first thing I recommend doing is turning on the navigation pane. In this case, this is because it, in the demo particularly, it shows you how there's a direct relationship between the styles and that we add to our text and these styles um, as we add, add styles. Okay, so from the view menu, turn on the navigation pane. So if we go up to view and then it's one of these buttons down here, it says navigation pane. When it first opens, it opens up in this version where it shows you sort of little bits of the pictures. If you go to the outline mode, which is this one here, the document map, then you'll see that by styles. So it'll tell me um, right now it's just showing things that are in the one style that I'm using. Well, there's the title and then there's the, um, which is a heading one and the rest are heading twos. Okay, so let's go back to the home menu. And the next thing I want to talk about is the design pane. And the reason I'm talking about this before we talk about styles is that the design pane affects all of the styles that are available to you. And if you do, um, if you change the design, if you do the design pane thing after you've modified some styles, you may, for any system styles, you may lose your modifications. So it's better to decide first what, what sort of look and feel you want. So this is a pretty cool feature. You go to design and it'll show you some examples across the top of what your, what design options you might try and you can just flip through them. And when you click them, it automatically changes your document. And you can see which ones you like. Now, you will want to make sure that you've actually applied a couple styles before you do this. Otherwise, you won't see what they look like in your document. But you can click through to find, you know, this is sort of different ways people have chosen to do things um, or Microsoft has chosen to give you. And then, which one do I want? Hmm, I don't like that one. It's kind of a fun one. How about... That one. Yeah. Uh, no. I, I like the colors. That one I like better. Okay. Um, colors. Another thing you can change. So um, I'm on blue warm here, but you could go to blue and you can see how it changed the colors automatically. It's kind of a neat thing. Um, or we could go green um, to change the colors. You can change which font families your document is leaving. Right now I have Calibri. I could change it if I changed it to say Cambria. You can see how all of the font changes changed automatically. Um, and paragraph spacing. So you can either tighten things or open things up, double spaced, whatever you want. So generally take this and make your document look as close to what you want it to look um, as you can before you start modifying and, and using and applying styles. Okay, so once you've done that, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to click over back to home. And I'm going to open the styles pane. So it's right next to the styles. These are the ones that are available. Um, but if you open the pane, you get a lot more flexibility. So in the styles pane, the first thing I want to point out is by default, I think it shows recommended. You can see different options of styles um, that are available, that are already available and in the document. And you can go to um, styles in use, styles in current document, which is different. Styles in use are the ones that you've actually applied. Styles in the current document are the ones that you have available in your current document. And then recommended, they just pull out the ones that they think are most common. Um, and so I, I typically, when I'm still setting things up, I use in current document or all styles. And then once I've got it set up, I may change, once I know that I've got an instance of each one, I may just change it to styles in, in use. 
um, styles in use so that it's quicker and I can find it quicker on the side panel. Okay, so to apply a heading style. So what you want to do is take text that you want to apply a heading style. Um, with heading styles, you can apply them by either putting your cursor anywhere within it. So if I do anywhere within it and I say, hey, I'm going to apply it to heading two. So I click heading two and notice how it automatically added it to my styles or my um, outline. Um, or I can highlight the whole thing. And let's put a heading three so you can see how it indents when it's heading three. Um, or if you if you select only one word, however, you can see that it updated the style of that word, but it did not update the paragraph and did not tag the paragraph. So this is because heading styles are what it it it's a connected style, so it can be either a paragraph or a text style. Um, so typically we want them to be paragraphs. So we want to sort of select the whole, select a, a not, make sure you don't have anything selected, but be in the paragraph and it will do that. It'll update that paragraph. Okay. So next we want to look at text styles. If you want to highlight a text style, you just highlight the text that you want to change that style. And then you can apply that style to it. So if I say strong, it, it that text becomes bold. Um, now let's edit an existing style. So if we want to take an existing style, say let's we say we don't like this all uppercase in our heading twos, you can see that heading two is here. I can go up here and do um, modify style. I can also do it on the list where it shows down here. So I can go to heading two and modify the style. And so I can modify it. Um, here I can go and I, I can see, okay, well, it's, it's a heading two. That's the name of it. It's a linked, which means it's got both paragraph and character characteristics. If I, if I have the style, it's based upon normal, which means, and that's something to be, be careful of. It inherits everything from normal, which means that if you change something in normal, it will automatically change it within this style. Um, and then the style for the following paragraph is normal. So I want to change this here, which is it, which is actually a format. And so for more detailed formatting, this is a font format. So I'm going to change the font. And when it opens that window, you can see that it's in all caps. And so I can change it so that it's no longer in all caps. And you can see that there's a preview. And when I click OK and then OK, it's now no longer in uh, all caps. But you'll notice that it also is no longer in all caps everywhere else I applied that style. That's one of the big advantages to using styles. It becomes very easy to update things quickly um, and change the way text looks very just by editing an existing style. Now, we go want to create a new style. The easiest way to create a new style is to take the text that you want um, to, to create, highlight what you want to change, or sorry, is to manually format a paragraph or the text in the way in which you want it to look. So if I wanted to create a new paragraph style that is some sort of special quotation, so I want to say indent it and I want to make it um, italicized and I want to make it bigger. Um, so I've now sort of changed the look and feel of that. Now I can go over to my styles pane uh, and click new style. It will automatically, it names it style one. I'm going to call this my special quotes. Um, name the style based upon what you want it to do, not the formatting that you've applied to it, because if you change the formatting later, it might not make sense. So I want to use this format for special quotes. It's a currently by default, it's a paragraph style. If I wanted to do it on a tech on just text as well, I could change that. Um, by changing it to a link style, but I actually want a paragraph style for this. I want the next paragraph to be normal, um, or sorry, it's based on normal. The style for the following paragraph, I can, I can make it this style or I can make it normal. Um, I think most of my quotes are only one paragraph, so then I automatically go to normal for the next paragraph. Um, some formatting that's already here. I want to add some paragraph spacing after. So I'm going to go over to paragraph spacing and I'm going to make sure that I have more spacing afterwards. So if I hit OK, you can see that the style um, example has changed in here. 
So this is sort of the preview of your style. And then when you're finished making the edits you want to et make, um, you want to click OK. Add to template adds it to the document, which is generally a good idea. Now, this text that I have here is actually still manually formatted and hasn't had that style applied. So if I want to apply that style, I can just click this button and now it's applied. And you can see it moved that paragraph because that was something I changed. And let's grab another one. Let's say, let's make this one our special quotes. There we go. And you can see how it automatically changes the style there. And now I can go in and change this from showing everything because you can see the list is too long um, to the styles in use. And you can see that these are the styles that I'm currently using within the um, document. And so that's a quick overview of how to apply and edit styles um, in Microsoft Word using the application.